Good afternoon, welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills, Logan Burgess. Today is the 27th, one day before the quarterly stocks and planning intentions report. Let's turn right over to the Firetip trading platform, see where we closed off the day. Looks like we uh, ended up trading higher here, mostly with the uh, action in the front months with new crops right. able to put on small gains as well. Uh, let's turn uh, over to corn here. Corn trading up four and a half, soybeans up five cents, wheat in Chicago trading up four and a quarter in Kansas City wheat trading up four and three quarters. Now we will walk through the analyst expectations for tomorrow's big reports, but of course we did have the ethanol numbers right. released earlier this morning. Uh, Logan, maybe you could walk us through them and have you seen any surprises here? Yeah, well just this week we did see uh, ethanol production pull back 4,000 barrels per day. We saw 805,000 barrels per day uh, reported by the EIA this morning. If we jump into the model here that we've been following throughout the marketing year, as you can see here, red bars are weekly production figures. The green line is our grain hedge forecast. And as you can see, uh, this week's data was a pretty good showing here in terms of ethanol production. I know earlier in the week we talked about how the ethanol crush margin has been improving here in recent days. Uh, and certainly we look for that to continue to help uh, spur production here in the weeks to come. Bottom line though, our model is still showing the USDA uh, overestimating the, the amount of corn going to ethanol production by about 100 million bushels. Um, so certainly we need to see production pick up in the weeks to come here to fill that gap. Now, do you think that the, uh, the weakness that we've seen in ethanol production will have any sort of foreshadowing for tomorrow's report? You know, I, I really don't. You know, in terms of quarterly grain stocks, I think the real value there really lies uh, in the ability to track how much corn is going to feed usage. You know, on a weekly basis, we do get numbers out from the EIA as results or as it relates to ethanol production. We get export sales data, export inspections, but that feed usage is really a lot harder to track. So I think uh, in tomorrow's number uh, for the quarterly grain stocks, I think that's really the thing to keep in mind is, is are we feeding as much corn as what the USDA is uh, expecting here for the marketing year? All right, well, let's actually go right into the analyst expectations here. And quarterly grain stocks, that's the first report. Uh, very, very important. Right. Uh, maybe you could break down the numbers. What are analysts expecting tomorrow and what do you think could surprise it? Yeah, well, if we just look at this table here, uh, the first column here, the average guess, this is the average analyst expectation for the March 1st quarterly grain stocks number tomorrow. As you can see here, corn expected at 5.01 billion bushels. Soybeans expected to come in at 0.94 billion bushels and all wheat expected at 1.18. If you take a look here at the furthest right column, this is the March 1st quarterly grain stocks from 2012. And for corn and soybeans in particular, uh, you know, as we all know, right now, uh, uh, grain stocks remain very tight and expectations are for the March 1st, 2013 stocks reported tomorrow to be quite a bit lower than what we had in 2012. Well, in the last month, we've had a lot of talk about the discount of wheat to mm -hmm. corn. Uh, and, and I guess I'm wondering, do you expect to see that reflected uh, in this report at all? Do you think that the uh, competitiveness of wheat uh, will be able to take yeah. some of that corn out of feed? You know, I think moving forward, that's certainly a concern, maybe coming up for the June quarterly grain stocks report. But I know, uh, you know, looking over the data here a little bit, it seemed like that real discount that wheat had against corn in the cash market really wasn't uh, a, a big uh, impact until about March 1st. And, and these grain stocks are as of March 1st. So I wouldn't expect that to be a major um, uh, driver of quarterly grain stocks reported in tomorrow's report. But as you said, you know, that's caught in a lot of attention here just in the last couple of weeks. Uh, you know, we have one of the largest uh, feedlots in the country right now, almost feeding exclusively a wheat ration. So obviously that's going to take a lot of uh, demand out of the corn market. Absolutely. And, you know, let's turn right over to the uh, planning intentions estimates here. It looks like uh, the big mover here that everyone's expecting to see yeah. uh, a little bit uh, more acreage added on to is soybeans. They're expecting about 1.2 million acres added on to what we saw last year. Corn, really, they're not expecting a whole lot of change here. Really only about 0.1 million acres higher at 97.3. And yeah. then, of course, wheat uh, adding on about 0.7 million acres. You know, I, I think that uh, it's, it's going to be an interesting report tomorrow. And what you could end up seeing, actually, is an explosion in the spreads. Right. Um, even, I mean, you could get a situation where you actually get the front month uh, really showing some strength there right. and uh, and maybe we get uh, a little bit more planted acreage than analysts expect. I know that Informa is definitely 
uh, looking for more than this average analyst. Yeah, does. you know, if we can just pull back up this slide here really quick, just look at the analyst range right now in corn. You know, we, we have people kind of all over the map right now in terms of how much corn is going to get put into the ground. You know, as you said, the average guess is 97.3, but we have some people sitting down at 95.7. Some people looking for as big as 98.5 uh, million acres there. So it's certainly going to be a volatile day tomorrow. Um, if you guys want to get live quotes for the report, visit us over at grainhedge.com. You can take a no obligation of the uh, fire tip trading platform that you use here or that you see here on grain tv each day but you know in general cody i think that kind of wraps up the action here uh, for a wednesday in the grain market if you guys have any questions about uh, the report tomorrow feel free to give us a call at the office 877-472-4607 is the number to reach us have a great day we'll see you tomorrow for the big report